I was born in San Juan, Puerto Rico, and I am currently based in Brooklyn, New York. I'm an interdisciplinary artist, and I work primarily within sound performance, land installation, and expanded cinema. Coming from that background and coming into this Bemis program, I've been trying to focus more on object making with sculpture and thinking about objects that perform using sound. These hog bladder balloons are a carnival tradition, which is another like reoccurring theme in my practice, specifically in my performance work. They're actually inflated hog bladders that are, traditionally they use like lemon, salt, and ashes as a treatment to air dry them and it kind of makes them harden. They're typically used as a sound instrument. It's kind of like a mischievous sort of tool that certain characters utilize to like scare people, they usually like bang people's head with them or something. It's really harmless, but I'm interested in them as like a material, as a sound material. And I've been pairing it with these very thin metal rods that are transforming the audio into a sonic composition. I was thinking of a feedback loop that comes in and out. Sort of like a like waves sort of resembles this tree, I guess, in in like hurricane winds or strong winds. And that is also another reoccurring theme in my work. It's using the symbolic space of the hurricane to sort of enact this sort of fugitivity. It's how I'm approaching this work that I'm doing here is sort of trying to find a sort of stillness or a sort of spot of belonging within that continuous motion or that migratory momentum that I've been thinking about. Obviously, I'm thinking about migration in a lot of my practice certain themes, certain like, I guess, political, economic instabilities can force people to move. And I think it has to do all with the, this sort of feeling of belonging. I've been working on a video game. I'm sort of thinking about it as expanded cinema that uses like critical fabulation to reconstruct the, my familial history. A lot of it is because I don't know much of it, and I do have a lot of conversations with my mother and my family, trying to fill in the gaps. But through migration, so much is lost. In this video game, I guess it sort of tries to fill in those gaps, but also repositions my family to having more social political responsibility. There's a term in Spanish that doesn't necessarily translate to English, but it's called de destierro, and it means to be unearthed. And again, that sort of relates to the feeling of belonging, but I've contextualized it within my practice to talk more about black and queer fugitivity. Usually that term is used to describe social, political, economic causes that sort of causes people to move. And the, the quilts that I've also been working on, which I've been able to iterate here as well, sort of grapple with this other undercurrent within my art practice, which is this interrogation of the, the failure of mechanical optics, as in the machinic production of images or representation through like photography, 3D scanning, painting even, um, anything that creates images as a means to, pr to produce representation, I find an innate failure in it. When I think about like the canonical black art, whereas like figurative paintings or like photography with bodies in it, sort of like stem to fix something, fix an identity to something that is understood, where I think I'm trying to question it and complicate it further. And also in those quilts, there's these blurred scans, which is the ones of the moving bodies. And so that sort of is directly connected to this idea of the failure of mechanical optics. And in my performance work, I use Carnival as a way to like dematerialize that dichotomy, grapple with this impossible complex that plagues the black body, one that exists within the hypervisibility and the invisibility, utilizing the invisibility of the masquerade and then the hypervisibility of this spectacle to dematerialize it and to interrogate it. And so even in the performances, they often are in total darkness and the only way that it's you're, you're viewing the performance as an audience is through this strobe or this content still image. So it's sort of like a photographic documentation, but it's again also thinking about nightlife and ways of and ways in which it, it provides, I guess, modes of disembodiment and re-embodiment for queer people. And to also provide some sort of remedy for that, you know, the 
destierro or that this sort of like fugitivity that is always enacted.